we've also had a lot of heat of late. We're just going to have some relief in the heat department. We will. If you're inland, big time relief. Like by Wednesday, you're going to be below average. And, you know, you may even wonder, well, what is that even this time of year? <laughs> it gets pretty low. I'll show you. It's going to be the mid-80s in the Tri-Valley. A great place to have that marathon tomorrow because the city is doing good temperature-wise. And we're going to clear out even more of the smoke tomorrow. So anybody who is out running around... The air quality should be good tomorrow. It's moderate today, and we were looking at that. We'll look at that again in one more second. First, I'm going to show you the headline. Here's how this heat's going to finally start giving us a little bit of a break. We're going to use Livermore. Taking a look at the inland valleys right now, and here's the seven-day forecast for Livermore. Which day would probably be the most important one on here? This one. Because by the time we get here, we're going to see the number come all the way back down to average. About 87 by the time we get to Wednesday. That's about a degree or two below average, actually, to be at 87 degrees for Livermore. It was 105 there today. So that is going to feel so much better. We're working our way there. Tomorrow, you're already going to be 10 degrees cooler than you were today. And the air quality is going to be a little better than this. That's the live view from the top of Mount Diablo. You see the scale up there. We bring in the map here, which kind of shows how air quality pools in the Bay Area. And we're using the purple air sensors here just because there are so many more of them that you really kind of see patterns when you look at it this way. Look at all the yellows showing up there for those inland valleys. Concord, you've got moderate, widespread. Take a look at the South Bay widespread, moderate. But if you look at the city, look at the peninsula, and those areas that are closer to the onshore breeze, the air quality is good. Starting tomorrow, there's going to be a stronger surge of onshore coming in through the Golden Gate, and not only down at the lower levels where we are, but even in the upper levels of the atmosphere, and it's going to start clearing away the smoke. Watch, you can see the progression of this. That's the big offender right now, the flat fire burning in southwest Oregon. We're going to stop it right here. That's tomorrow at about this time, and watch the direction of the wind change dramatically and the smoke starts going the other way. That's going to be less of a problem for us for now. We've got a long couple of months ahead of us with this, but at least for that one right now, wind's going to start blowing it away. Here are the current numbers, and this really shows us the big spread that we went through. It is still 98 in Livermore, and it's 68 in San Francisco, 59 in Half Moon Bay. We've got a few more hours to go here. Because of those numbers in those inland valleys where you still have the heat advisory stays in effect until we get to 11 o'clock tonight, you don't have one for tomorrow. Those numbers are not hot enough. It's still hot, especially in the Tri-Valley where you're doing mid-90s, 90 Pleasant and 93 Livermore, 95 Santa Rosa. You still want to go easy on yourself out there tomorrow, but at least we're going to be about 7 to 9 degrees cooler than today, and that gets us away. From the heat advisory, you can see that big pool of warm air is going to start shifting back over towards the east. That's part of the same pattern that's going to take that smoke and also move it that way. So for like the entire second half of this seven-day forecast, we are getting a break and things are going to be working in our favor. San Francisco and Oakland, look at that cool down. Oakland, you're going to be in the 60s on Wednesday. Uh, North Bay Valleys and South Bay Valleys up next. And we'll see those numbers here go down to the mid-80s in the North Bay and upper 70s in San Jose, and we'll finish this off with our typically hottest microclimate, the inland East Bay. You're going down to 85 degrees for like the entire second half of the whole seven-day forecast. All right.